MV ever given blocking Suez Canal creates cattle crisis. Giant container ship MV ever given remains stuck across Egypt's Suez Canal after attempts to dislodge it on Saturday's high tide failed. On 27 March about 20,000 tons of sand was dredged and 14 tugboats pulled and pushed the Ever Given in order to try to dislodge it. Although strong tides and winds complicated efforts to free the ship, the tugboats managed to move it 30 degrees in two directions. If digging the sand away and pulling the ship with tugs fails to move it, teams might have to remove some containers, which could take a long time. 400 meter long and 59 meter wide 219,079 DWT MS ever given with carrying capacity of 20,000 Teo is operated by the Taiwanese firm Evergreen Marine and owned by Shoei Kison of Japan. It ran aground in the Suez Canal at around 8 am local time on March 23. This accident occurred at 6 nautical miles from the southern entry of the canal as the container ship proceeded northbound through the waterway from the Red Sea. Gusting winds of 30 knots caused the container ship to deviate from its course, leading to the grounding. All 25 Indian crew members are safe and have been accounted for. The ship owner has appointed two maritime professional rescue teams from the Smith Salvage from Netherlands and Nippon Salvage from Japan to attend the ship. These teams will be working with the captain and the Suez Canal Authority to design a more effective plan for refloating the vessel as soon as possible. About 12% of global trade passes through Suez Canal and blockage since March 23 is affecting shipping lines. The blockage because of the ship is affecting trade globally. As there are 200 vessels stuck in the north and south side of the canal, the number at the current rate is likely to go up to 350 in the next few days. The blockage is holding up an estimated 10 billion US dollars of goods each day. Among the vessels held up by the Ever Given's grounding in Suez Canal are at least 20 ships carrying livestock, raising concerns about the animal's welfare if the logjam becomes protracted. While some livestock ships were waiting to enter the canal, three, the Omega Star, the Animar and the Sea Star, all appear to be stuck at various points in the canal. Marine traffic data showed 11 delayed livestock ships, while an NGO has identified others, bringing the total identified so far to 20. Five of the ships identified had been loaded animals in Spain, and nine had loaded in Romania earlier this month. There were no immediate welfare concerns for the animals, but if the ever given has to be lightened to make it easier to dislodge, using cranes to remove enough containers could take weeks and the surrounding ships would need to leave and find longer alternative routes. Getting stuck on board means there is a risk for the animals of starvation, dehydration, injuries, waste buildup so they can't lie down, and nor can the crew get rid of dead animal bodies in the Suez Canal. It's basically a ticking biohazard time bomb for animals and the crew and any person involved. An alternative route, around the Cape of Good Hope on the southern tip of Africa, can take two weeks longer. Major companies are looking into whether to reroute their vessels. The first container ship to opt for the longer journey around the Cape of Good Hope was the Ever Given sister ship, the Evergreet, both of which are operated by the Taiwanese firm Evergreen Marine. The Suez Canal is an artificial sea-level waterway in Egypt, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea through the Isthmus of Suez and dividing Africa and Asia. Constructed between 1859 and 1869 by the Suez Canal Company formed by Ferdinand de Lesseps in 1858, it officially opened on 17 November 1869. The canal offers watercraft a more direct route between the North Atlantic and Northern Indian Oceans via the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea, thus avoiding the South Atlantic and Southern Indian Oceans and reducing the journey distance from the Arabian Sea to London by approximately 8,900 km or 8 to 10 days. It extends from the northern terminus of Port Said to the southern terminus of Port Tufik at the city of Suez. Its length is 193.30 km including its northern and southern access channels. In 2020, over 18,500 vessels traversed the canal, an average of 51 per day.